through a couple of really public breakups. I lost my stepdad. I I moved to Nashville. I I battled an eating disorder for a while. I had a lot of like my parents went through a divorce. Big. My topics. dad went through rehab. Just big like life events kind of all crammed into a span of five years. And I was like, well, this is country music, so I guess I'll take it. But it's been good. Songwriting really has always kind of been my lifeline. Yeah. And the thing I can fall back on, no matter what I'm going through, I can write a song about it and collect my thoughts and get my emotions together and then share them with the world and hopefully help other people do that. So every kind of hard thing that I've gone through has ended up being a blessing because oh. we're all going through hard things and we all have yeah. things that kind of stop us in our tracks. And I feel so fortunate that God gave me this like want and need to write songs and to make music because I'm able to help other people find healing after I found my own. So wow. regardless of what I've been through, I've always kind of gotten to the other side of it. Trisha Yearwood is one of my heroes. I'm obsessed with her. I cannot <laughs> believe I got to do a song with her. Getting that, good, right? Yes, I did Getting Good with her. And that whole thing was so crazy how that happened. I went on her cooking show and we're cooking in the kitchen. Do you and cook? I'm, yeah, I cook not like her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good enough at cooking that anyone has called me and said, Lauren, do you want a cooking show? But I was in the kitchen with her living my best life, literally, because I was in the kitchen with Trisha Yearwood, and she started singing Getting Good to Me. I'm like, what is happening? I grew up singing her songs, so to be in a kitchen with her on her TV show and her sing one of my songs was unbelievable. And then I sang it with her, and it's like one of my favorite clips. And after we finished taping the show, she came up to me and said, if you ever want to do a collaboration together, just let me know. And I thought, who paid her to say this? Just kidding. I was like, what is happening to me? And she asked me for my phone number, and she saved me in her phone as Junior, because she says I'm Trisha Junior, which I just go ahead and quit, because that I'll never be complimented more than that, because I adore her. I love everything about her and what she represents and her voice and her tone Aww. and just all of it. And she texted me her number, and then a couple of weeks later, I worked up the nerve to ask her if she would sing Getting Good With Me. And she said she had a meeting with her team on Tuesday. And she called me Tuesday and said yes. And I got to record Getting Good with Trisha Yearwood, which is crazy. <laughs> the fact that she calls you Junior. I know. Is it because your vocals are similar? Your power is similar? You're from Georgia? You are so just good, things. fun, wonderful people. When we were together, we were saying like all the same things at the same time. Uh, I don't know. The fact that she said that is amazing. We have a lot of the same favorite things and I just love I her. And great. she told me that Garth is like going around their house whistling, getting good. And I'm like, I've peaked. So here we are. Yes, <laughs> like you said, you can clock out. <laughs> 